Hey guys, let's go on to topic number two. Yes, topic number two. And that is the CW Network up for sale. That's right. And apparently that is true. It seems that Warner Brothers and Viacom, uh, they want to cut their losses a little bit. Now what's interesting though is uh, both Viacom and the, uh, the WB are still going to keep some stock, are going to keep some uh, interest um, in the sh in the network, but they're selling it apparently to a place called or to a company called Nexstar, and uh, Nexstar apparently is a syndicated service of cha is basically a syndicated service company of channels that you know broadcast the majority of the CW's programming. So uh, by by extension, you know. You know, by offering to sell the CW to them, a majority of the CW to them, you know, it basically, you know, not only gets them some money in return to the sale, and allow them allows them to keep, you know, a little bit of uh, stock and interest and investment in the network, as well as basically keep some of the shows they have on there uh, running still. But it also basically takes, you know, some burden off of them because apparently the CW hasn't do, hasn't been doing so well very profitably even though it has been making money it hasn't been making the money uh, the way that um, you know Warner Brothers and you know Viacom have been wanting it to so now they're like well we want to keep we still want to keep our shows on there we still want to keep some kind of investment and interest um, in it so they pretty much figure well if we're going to do this we need to uh, basically um, well, we need to basically, you know, go the route out of selling it, but keeping a part of us, you know, in it, if you know what I mean. Now, the question obviously gets raised that with this sale, potentially to Nexstar, who would have a majority of control, although part of the deal would allow, like I said, um, you know, would allow basically uh, the CW and Viacom shows to remain. You know, the, the question obviously is, what happens to some of these CW shows like Batwoman, The Arrowverse, uh, Riverdale? What happens to them? Well, my assumption is since we have HBO Max and since, you know, the Discovery merger is going to be, you know, making, you know, the streaming service a much bigger platform uh, to an extent. I'm assuming Riverdale is going to end up on HBO Max very soon. As well as a lot of the DC shows. Not just in repeats, you know, to where you can watch them at any time. But I've got a feeling a lot of new episodes, new seasons are going to be exclusive to the services. And what that does in the future is it frees up the CW for whatever Next Star wants to put on there. Because Next Star, no doubt, would be able to uh, make deals with any other, um, I guess you could say, studio or you know, company, if you will, to get stuff on there, expand a little more, and just, um, you know, go from there. We know that right now, they're in the works, along with Viacom, to um, help promote the new WOW Superheroes uh, series, the new Women of Wrestling Superhero series, by showing um, encores of it on their YouTube page, I believe, to kind of get people, you know, ready for it. You know, so there's that. But, you know, besides, you know, WOW being possibly part of the new lineup of shows, the question is, what else could they do? What else could they do? Well, like I said, they are going to be keeping some of these shows because, uh, you know, um, you know, WB and, you know, Viacom wanna, are going to be keeping some kind of uh, investment in there, some interest in there to allow these shows to be, still be broadcast. But I think very soon over time, like within the next couple of years, in my opinion, like I said, some of those shows could end up exclusively on the streaming services and everything uh, down the line. You know, new seasons, you know, new episodes, maybe movies based on the on the shows, stuff like that. So I could see that potentially happening. And I think uh, those at Warner Brothers, those at Viacom realize that as well. So don't be surprised that within the next year or so, it gets announced that Riverdale, uh, some of the DC shows are going to be moving exclusively over to the HBO uh, Max, Discovery, you know, basically the Warner Media Discovery HBO Max streaming service. Do not be surprised if you get that announcement in the future, because if they're going to be combining both 
elements of both services, you know, together as one, thus eliminating possibly Discovery Plus, in my opinion, which I think is going to be the lesser of the two that, you know, survives. Uh, if they're going to combine all their elements into one, then they're going to want more programming to really attract people, and Riverdale and, uh, you know, uh, a lot of the DC shows, the Arrowverse, the Flashverse, whatever you want to call it, I think are going to play a significant role in that and making that happen by moving exclusively over to there in the future. Thus, like I said, allowing the CW in Nexstar to have, you know, allowing Nexstar through the CW to have more room to get more newer shows, more exclusive shows on there that are not totally connected to the WB or uh, Viacom by extension. So, yeah, it seems that, you know, the CW is soon going to be a next star company and that for at least the time being, I would assume the next few years or so, maybe less, that WB and, C WB and Viacom are going to have a bit of a stake in it with some of those shows and programming still being part of it. But, you know, I truly believe over time, and this is just an opinion, I truly believe over time those shows will migrate from the CW over to the H over to the streaming service which is right now known as HBO Max uh, in the near future after, let's say, the merger with Discovery and all that uh, goes down later this year. But, yeah, that's what's going on with the CW, and uh, we'll just have to see what happens next.